we're about to build up some stuff today. So I've got a whole setup for you guys. This is the fun part. I think I am just gonna put the RAM in. I'm gonna start screwing in the motherboard. We got the bracket in for the CPU cooler. And that is mostly what that computer will look like, y'all. Thank you, DTS, for making these giveaways possible. We really, really, really appreciate you. My cat appreciates you because she got to build something with me last night. It was awesome. And we're about to build up some stuff today. So I've got a whole setup for you guys. I'm gonna show off all the parts. So we've got the i7-12700K. It is unlocked. I'll see if I can pull up all the base clock speeds and whatnot when I open it up. But this is what we're working with for our CPU. For our RAM, we have the Dominator Platinum RGB 32 gigs at 3600 megahertz. For our GPU, we've got the GeForce RTX 3060 Zotac gaming GPU so it can all fit. 12 gigs of GDR GDDR6 RAM. We got the V850 SFX Gold White Edition power supply, full modular 80 plus gold certified, small form factor. It's gonna fit in our case. See that? The V850, hopefully there's no shine. Awesome, we're moving on. We have our 980 Pro one terabyte SSD. It's NVMe M.2. Got our Lian Lee fans. Yep, we're building a PC today and we're giving away to our donors. We got our Lian Lee fans. I think we have, so we have nine fans. And then we got our strimmers our Lee and Lee trimmers for our motherboard and our power supply. They all go to our power supply. And then we have this really cool, in the N7Z690. I have never worked with this motherboard before, so I'm excited to crack it open. And then for our AIO, we have the Kraken Z63 RGB. So it's a 280 millimeter liquid cooler. We're gonna be replacing these fans with our Lee and Lee fans. So everything matches up and looks really nice to deal with the USB issue slash workaround. We're gonna have the internal USB hub so our strimmers and our fans can work without having to use that very weird like chain that we had to make to convert everything. And then of course, our O11 Dynamic Lee and Lee case. It's the white case. We're gonna go ahead and start ripping everything open right now. This is the O11 Dynamic white case this is just so clean i've never seen anything like this look at that all our ram everything we need for the motherboard usb and everything else is just covered up straightforward that's neat and then hdmi i've seen some motherboards with display which is interesting all right we got the i7 12700k i'm gonna go ahead and put that in first all right we're gonna match the notches excuse my hair all right, so we don't need these fans. We will be we will be needing these cables. That's actually, yeah, this is the most nerve wracking part to me. If you were wondering, like this part, this is what stresses me out. Let's pull this and this is what we need. Can you get the 1700? Crack it down there. There you are. Oh, all right. All right, we've already learned a lot about this motherboard. I thought I was gonna have to get a M.2 screw, but no, it's magnetic and you just screw everything back in. I really appreciate that. Start screwing those in. Go diagonal. Okay, this is the fun part. I think I am just gonna put the RAM in. So there might be an issue where if I plug all these in and it doesn't boot because I need to put them in the dim slots and just the base dim slots. RAM's all in, interesting. All right, all that's in, we're gonna put this to the side and then we're gonna hop off and start putting stuff into our case. All right, we'll get our case fans. We'll screw them in right there. And we're just gonna go ahead and plug all of our power in so we don't have to do it later. There we go. This is the most nerve wracking part because you gotta make sure everything is pushed in. We're gonna leave all of this alone. We got the power supply put in. Fans will go in. We could do the fans, honestly, but we should do the motherboard first because you don't know. The fans kind of lock things in. Oh yeah, so for this uh, particular case, depending on how big the motherboard is, we need to go ahead and install the extension. So let's do that right now. There's an extension plate that you need to install. Comes with its own screws and everything. 
And here it is. I'm gonna start screwing in the motherboard. We got the bracket in for the CPU cooler. Slide it over there, there we go. Now I can see all the contacts. I can put this away. This build is so pretty. So let's take these off first. Thank you, Teddy. It's mostly adult because you get a toy from uh, long ago. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. The GPU will go there. All right, I gotta stop stalling. I gotta go ahead and put the radiator in. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm gonna plug the cables in first. I'm gonna actually put that safety case back on so I can put this stuff on without. So right now I'm plugging in all the cables for the AIO right here. All right, there we go. So this will go into the USB and I'm gonna just put it through the back. Everything is screwed in and then we're gonna secure these fans. It's time for the fans to be done. So this is that one cable that's gonna go in the fan and then, so yeah. You can see my natural enemy. It's absolutely cables. Radiator is screwed in. <sighs> Let's do the cables. I lied, I'm doing cables first. All right, so we know for a fact this plugs in. Let's just go and get that out of the way. All right. I'm trying to keep everything clean as I go. All right, I'm gonna flip that so I have a handle on the cables. All right, so if we got the fans coming in, I'm gonna start with the fans on the top and then work my way around. The lights are gonna originate from this fan. It's gonna go this way. And I want it to go counterclockwise. So I'm gonna put my fans like this. Don't go too tight on these Lian Lees because you'll they're, they're rubber. You can just strip it, just go in real gentle. And I even recommend before you screw them in, put the cables through. But I will say it's, it doesn't seem that difficult actually. So right now I'm trying to get the fans onto the radiator. I'm gonna just do two screws for now, just in case something goes wrong and then we'll screw everything else in later. Right now I'm just doing a little bit of cable management. Just a very, very little. Make sure everything looks good. So now we're gonna install the bottom. We're doing a push pull configuration. That means air is gonna be pushed out and pulled in from the bottom. All right, so the next challenge is getting those cables through. All the fans are officially in, and that is mostly what that computer will look like, y'all. This is gonna be the fun part. So you do have to put these fans in order when you plug them in, or you will be sad. So I'm just going through, plugging in each one in the box. This is the fan controller. Yes, it allows you to control your fans. So we're gonna use all of our SATA ports because we're gonna be powering up a lot today. And we are gonna plug in this box, this trimmer box. So this is that third US, that third USB port I need to plug in. I'll do that right now. And I believe the reason why they have this is because you have different GPUs, so they'll have different types. You'll have a two or a three trimmer, and the three will go in here and the two goes here. So that's plugged in, that's plugged in. It is five minutes to 530, in, in, in. All right, let's secure it down so I can boot it up. All right, time to put that GPU in. Throwing in the 3060. I'm gonna peel all the plastic off of this. It's, it's a lot. Hopefully I judged this properly. All right, cool. Let's see if I gave myself enough room to mess with. Glad I put that trimmer in there properly. There we go. Got it. But the goal is to see it post everything. Well, see everything light up. I'm not gonna plug it into a monitor just yet, but let's go ahead, turn this on and then give this bad boy away. But here we go. Boom. Yes! Oh, thank God. I have our names here. I am going to hope and pray that you guys are here. I know I see some familiar names on here already. Let's see who this winner is. And for the Cruella de Build, our winner of the night is... That is... Much. <laughs> All right. 
Bye, guys. Love y'all. See you later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>